Hello friends, this is Dr. Ashwarya Kaushik, your original guru for endodontics, conservative dentistry and dental materials. Friends, today we are going to discuss um, a very rather common clinical case, a routine endodontic um, case, but there are certain highlights which we uh, are going to discuss today. Um, so um, we had a routine you can say um, a deep class two restoration case in an upper second premolar, right? The tooth was vital. Also, once we did the vitality test, um, the patient responded to some degree of, you can say, pain, but which did not linger on. However, at the same time, there was tenderness on vertical percussion. So what I did was I redid the filling, did the filling again, Waited for a few days, uh, the, the, the response to the cold test kind of worsened, right? The moment I touched the refrigerant spray on the tooth, there was, there was pain. It was not a pre-pain sensation. It was, there was pain. It did not linger on, but yes, there was pain, right? Number two, apical periodontitis, which had set in despite a good occlusion, right? There was no trauma from occlusion. That was also not getting relieved, right? The lesion was very deep. Yes, the tooth was vital, but we took the call and we decided, took the informed consent of the patient and decided to do the access cavity prep and do a root canal treatment. I'm going to share, um, number one, a video which is under the operating microscope in my practice. A very short video, which is going to be just, you know, orienting you to how the case looks like and what it is like to do a case, a root canal case um, under the operating microscope. Number one, I'm going to share the IOP x-ray and certain points regarding the anatomy, the root canal configuration in more, more commonly found in upper fur second premolars, right? So let's have a look. Um, yeah, this is the x-ray that I've been talking about. Put this on full screen mode. Yeah. Now, as you can see here, friends, I'll just put my, yeah. Um, we'll do a laser pointer here. Yeah, you can see this is a very deep class two. Yes, <clears throat> there was no history of spontaneous pain. There was no history of pain during the night. However, to the cold test, there was there was pain. It was not pre-pain. That's one. So that's not a good good sign. If there is pain as, as soon as you touch the tooth, right, with your cold test uh, or with your cold stimulus, um, in a normal tooth, there, there should not be pain, right? Yes, initially, because the pain did not linger, I made a diagnosis, provisional diagnosis of reversible pulpitis, right? I did the, redid this restoration, the customized band, retainer, wedge assembly. Um, there was definitely remaining dentine thickness, remaining dentine that was remaining. It was not, you know, um, exposing the, clinically, it was not exposing the pulp chamber. However, you know, under follow-up, even after a few days, <clears throat> the case kind of deteriorated. There was increased sensitivity to that cold test to the extent of having, you can say, severe pain as soon as, as I touched it. So also, there was apical periodontitis clinically. So we decided that we go for a root canal treatment and made a diagnosis of irreversible pulpitis. And due to the inflammatory mediators, markers, you know, um, uh, chemicals going into the peripical space, probably there was apical periodontitis because of that. Right. Usually, you know, you will find either two canals or one canal, you know, in an upper second premolar. If there are two canals, in most of the cases, they are going to merge into one in the apical part of the root canal. Uh, subsequently, my, my dear friends, you're going to be seeing a short video of the access cavity prep under the operating microscope. Thank you.